When I first moved to Berlin and I was living in London and people said, where are you going? I said, I'm moving to Germany, I'm moving to Berlin. They were like, why? What are you going to do there? And now people are like, oh, I heard that's really hip. Oh, my cousin went there for his stag night and stuff like this. So this is definitely the reaction which, you know, before people were like, oh, isn't that scary and dark and full of fascists and Nazis and I don't know. And now people are no longer scared of Berlin and people can come here, anyone can come here because it's cheap, which makes it a little bit Balaman, right? She's definitely always late, for example, which I find very disrespectful. It's just like when you have to wait in the cab every day, every time you fly out for 10 minutes down her house and the taxi meter is going and it's just on our money. <laughs> it's just disrespectful, I think, but she doesn't seem okay, so... Okay, take care, right? <laughs> okay, it's not an issue. You can fight about it or you can just accept it, which we tend to do by now, you know. But now you can ask her why she loves us so much. Um, why do I love these people? <coughs> They're predictable and reliable at the same time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, I'm so hungry now. I haven't even ordered anything. Can I have Darfish out of Sky? Should we show? Danka. Everybody chatting about the LDN. So I thought I'd have a chat about the BLN. Now I learned what I learned in the LDN. And I'm taking it through to the BLN. Because I love I can learn from the BLN. And I'm going to match it up with the LDN. I don't need to bug about the East End. Got the best of both worlds in it in the Basically, since we started, we have been dealing with our business stuff ourselves. It's like we're really in charge of like how we're going to promote the record, and like it's not just making the music. We really run like the business jacuzzi also. It's like our project where we have someone investing in our record or whatever who taught, who works with us to get the best out of it. We create the structure, which is a lot of work. You know, it's not like a structure which is already running and we just sit back and everything happens. We create the structure, but we because we choose who to, to work with. We can work with people who have supported us the last couple of years. People who we know genuinely are going to work their butt off because they like it. Get your shit out. Because I'm just moving and I don't really give a shit, you know, and I'm not necessarily doing prescribed forms of dance and making a dick out of myself. I hope other people feel um, empowered enough to make a dick out of themselves and not really give a shit, you know, because I definitely noticed the women at least, they come to the front and they're all like, yeah, man, I want to fucking have that much fun too, and I want to shake my butt even though I can't dance or whatever, you know, and I'm completely overwhelmed and shake my tits around. It makes me feel good to think that they people actually have a good time who maybe. Sometimes, you know, in other situations feel like they're more inhibited to move or something. Just take a chill, chill, just take a chill, you'll get back to the shit that makes you ill. Shake your ass, girl, come on, shake your baby. Talk about sex to help you pay your bills. Chill, chill, just take a chill, you'll get back to the shit that makes you ill. Shake your ass, girl, come on, shake your baby. Talk about sex to help you pay your bills. Ew, ew. Gentrification. They're taking your street.